Welcome back to the channel. Here's a little tool haul video. This is a company, Sacker. Um, they reached out to me a while ago. The products just weren't matching up to what I do. So I found this and, you know, this is actually a very good product for a lot of people. Put in your kitchen drawer, maintenance man, throw it in the bag, um, all sorts of applications for it. Handyman whatever but you got a line level regular little level and then you got the floaty level and then the little uh t level there but i'm just gonna let you guys know the quality comes in a little case that's why i say it's great for a kitchen drawer i mean this should get out to everyone lots of uses for it even us handymen but uh, I pull, so I pulled this out originally, and I'm looking at it like no magnets down here. It's it's nicely machined, all that works well, and uh, it's got some strong magnets down there. Bet, better than so my buddy doesn't think they're neodymium magnets. Um, I I don't know. Because, yes, there's there's some things that, like, it'll grab a knife, stuff like that. But, um, you know, it maybe there's just a strip under there. But it's better than any strip-type magnet. You know, here's a strip magnet. It barely picks, it doesn't pick any of this stuff up, okay? So... Here's just a little quick comparison. Magnet on the bottom there. Alright, picked it up. This, like a tractor beam, right? I don't know what that is, but did a mailbox the other day. Put this on top of the post. Re, I, I redid it. You know, freaking works great. little line level perfect applications and i believe this is under twenty dollars so i mean it's just a no-brainer great product works well i love this very strong magnet can't go wrong sacker i'll link it down in the description um i've had it for a while and i've been using you know a good bit around work and so i can finally do a little bit of a review on it and um confident in the product spider co here's the ne next one knives and accessories made in japan here we go i got the uh spider co um just camo type nice knife you know beautiful it really is good stuff here's here's one i got from uh ross's that i always talk about and you know not bad either for a couple bucks four bucks five bucks comes with a can opener sheath and then here's a craftsman i forget what i bought this with it got a serrated part but this has been a good knife as well, but the Spyderco definitely, it's lightweight, has a nice heavy-duty clip to it. That ain't going nowhere. It's just overall beautiful knife, beautiful knife. Um, next up, we got the, if you know, you know, Ultra Steel. Hyper Tough took over Ultra Steel, but... You can go out today to O'Reilly's and buy Ultra Steel. I bought a 25 foot quick read tape measure. Cheapy, you know. Not too, not too impressed. I can literally just cut all this rubber off. It just, it just cuts right off. That, that's all there is to it. And, you're, and then you're here. You're with this one. Um, but if you go to Ross's, this one's like four or five bucks self-locking. 
really is not that bad. I, I just, I love tape measures. Um, ones that make sense, I'll buy all the time. So I purchased this at the going rate. I don't know, 200 and some dollars. Maybe it went down to 199 but then I was in the store. Flex hammer drill with the uh, turbo mode and all that, brushless. $50. Jacob's Chuck. It does have a little bit of a... chunkiness to it but it works just fine um could not pass that up for 50 dollars. story is i went in put it in a section and was uh was gonna buy it and then decide not to put it in the electrical section went back three days later was like if it's still sitting there i'll buy it sure enough still sitting there so I purchased it so anyways I've done the craftsman recently this one is made in Mexico and I like that you know anything but China um, I will pretty much do and as in the pinch the other day or in a pinch $129 this is just a drill not a hammer drill but it came with two 1.5 amp hour batteries and a charger i'll get to another video on that later but this is made in mexico also so you have a drill driver combo not chinese made made in mexico and i actually you know i've used the wall i have I have the Bostitch. Um, I really have been enjoying this Craftsman tools. I don't. Maybe it's the nostalgia, you know. It just has a. It's smooth, very smooth. Can't complain about it. If I could, no one would listen, but, you know, same, you know, just beautiful stuff. Last but not least, no, second to last but not least, I did purchase this. I was afraid that they were stop selling it. Two and a half inch portable bandsaw. Great stuff. Last but not least, I went into Lowe's. Um... Before I purchased this one, I bought my daughter a Leatherman Wave Plus, you know. Figured it, she's at the right age, um, especially getting down the woods and stuff. It's a good multi-tool to have. It's one that will probably last her a good long time. I have a lot of Gerber stuff that's older, um you know pre non usa it you know which means i had usa or gerber stuff i saw this in lowe's it's a hundred and almost 140 dollars i was willing to pay it but just so you know it says main usa down at the bottom and then all of them say gerber guarantee see back all the stuff at lowe's says that so you flip her over and it says, tool made in USA, sheath and bit set made in China. So there's the sheath and bit set. I wish it could be made here, but you flip it over and right on there says made in USA, which I'm willing to spend the extra money on it. I'm not an everyday carry type of guy. I'm not a uh, multi-tool type of guy. Um, but this one intrigued me. So I'm going to see how it works out for me. All together. There's a lot of different uh, functions on it. And I'll do a different video on it. But um, just wanted to throw these all out here. A little tool haul video. 
Uh, thank you for joining me. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Later.